Yo, listen to me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Tell the camera what you just told me. Tell the camera that. Okay. Tell the fuck. Yo. My name is Chrissy, and Jim Jones is my man. He's a rapper, businessman, and a hustler. I love Jimmy, and we've been together for six years. But still, there's no ring, and we have no children together. So sometimes I gotta ask myself, where are we really going with this? There's nothing better than sitting by a pool with your girlfriends with something to drink and something sexy to look at. <laughs> I've only known Olivia for a few weeks, but that's my homie. When Olivia was with G-Unit, she was on top of the hip-hop game. But her solo career hasn't exactly taken off. Now she's working on a new album, trying to get back into the spotlight. Do have a nice day. We shall be watching. When it comes to the fellas, Olivia is a player. That's for you, honey. That's not my type. No, no, no. But No, but you know, I'm still dating Darrell. I've been seeing Darrell Revis, I'm one of the cornerbacks for the Jets. He's more of the quiet type. You know, he's from Pittsburgh, so they're not as wild as New Yorkers are. <laughs> I don't think I got to look at his butt in them tight pants oh, yet. Oh, jeez. That's the best part of watching that game. Then there's my girl, Emily. She's the girlfriend of Fabulous, the rapper. He's been in the game for 10 years, released five albums, and sold millions of records. Emily and Fabulous have been in a relationship for eight years, and they have a beautiful son. But to the outside world, she's just a stylist. All these years, you know, I go to the awards and I dress him and then I watch him and I let him so be who he is. Ever like take your hand and be like, "Come on, babe." Yeah, remember he don't tell nobody. You know, I have a family and all that stuff. He only telling nobody that. That's not a part of his image. He's a rapper. There's woman. There's this. There's that. But he'll never leave me. I'm his family, and I know that. You know whether he wants to admit it. You know, he'll say I'm single as a dollar bill or whatever he says. I'm Samaya Reese, and I've been grinding a long time in LA where I've done some acting, but I'm also a rapper. And to get my music going, I came to New York. Hello. Hi. Hi Samaya Reese. <laughs> oh, What's so up? Nice to see you. Sito's my producer, but he's also my friend and he knows the East Coast way better than I do. I was just like, you know what, I'm going balls out, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing well, my bag, I'm booking a here. ticket, and I'm just going straight to the East Coast. I'm like, yo, yeah, for real. <laughs> that you... shit, like, this weekend, <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's short notice. What's going to happen? I fall on the ground and I get back up and start walking, so. You want to see where you're staying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. You know you got a queen-size bed. It's pretty big, so. Whoa. This is the the mansion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the flyest crib, but it's home. And if this is what I gotta do to make it in New York, I'm game. To take my rap career to the next level, I came to New York, and since I worked with one of Jim's artists in LA, Jim Jones agreed to meet with me. If I can convince Jim to collaborate on a track with me, this could be big. That's my race. I guess. I can't. Oh. She wanna do it, Jim? Yeah. What the hell are you saying? You ain't asking what the hell happened? No, not yet. I'm not supposed That's to. That's why like... we secret squirrel. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, wait, What's music. On, wait, wait, look, we got some music here. Did you see what her debut single is? What? Mira mi pum pum. Yo. Get the f Yo. Yo. Hey. Mira mi pum pum. <laughs> Ooh. That's Spanish and Jamaican. Yo! You know what that means, right? No. What's that mean? I won't look at her pom pom. Oh! Like, what the hell? Did I mean pom pom? Oh, because I thought. <laughs> no thanks. We kept dancing together and passing the champagne. We had a really good time. And then we look over, and there's a chick in a sequence onesie. I thought it had snaps in the crotch. Chrissy was like, I think that's the girl that was in Jim's studio. That outfit it made her look crazy. I was like, I think that is her. But she was dancing, so I couldn't get a good look. So um, we went down the stairs and I stopped. 
And I looked at him. So I just like looked over and some girl was like, and then I was like, whatever. So that's when I noticed him. That was her? Yes. See, I seen the, the Diana Ross and I, I knew that that's what you was looking at. So Maya, the one with the sequin jumpsuit? Yeah, I'm Formula, gonna go Formula, 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 Formula One, Formula One, that's Listen to me. I, I never try to stop Jimmy's money. He can work with whoever he wants to work with. So you don't call me three o'clock in the morning and talk about you got a tall girl in the studio. And then as soon as we start talking, in comes Maya. Oh, oh speaking of Mexican, Maya. mermaid. I was like, who are you? Like, I don't even know you. Like, she walked up like she was a gangster. What's good? Wait, okay, hold on. It clicked. Jim Jones' girlfriend. I'm mad because I'm working with a man. I would never be mad at about nothing like you. Are you kidding me? Mad? Mad at what? I'm mad at them shoes. That's what I'm mad at. Uh, That's what I'm mad at. I'm mad at them shoes. I am mad. done. I'm oh, mad that you only got your top teeth oh, done. Oh, nothing to say to you because I don't even know you, bitch. So you just talking. My thing is, what are you buzzing around Jimmy for? She's not a serious artist. She can't be. Your career title is what? You're Jim Jones' girlfriend? Please, you're a kept bitch. I'm the type of bitch you keep. Jimmy in the studio, and uh, in walks Maya. And I don't really know what to think. Hey. How are you? you? know, because last time we uh, saw each other, it wasn't so pleasant. Oh, oh shit. you mad because cause I'm working with a man? I'm mad at them shoes. That's what I'm mad at. Oh. I was just thinking in my mind, oh my God, drama again. But she don't make me no money, and she don't break me no money. So I'm here to see Jim. And I worked really hard on a specific track in hopes that maybe he can collab with me or help me get to the next level. I got this one song called Would You Still Love Me that I'd love to have you on. And if you like to listen to it. Let's see how it sounds. Just listen. Would you still love me if the needle guy boy? Would you pick me up? I wanna know, would you still love me? Turn it up. Turn it up. I mean it the hook. I would rather you do either consolidate that verse okay. or make it shorter and then bring it back to me and let me hear it. So you're saying that you, you like that track? She's sitting there going like, <sighs> making all these crazy faces. Like, I'm like, I'm not even worried about this broad because she's nothing to me. I'm just worried about if he's feeling the track, not her. She ain't nothing to me. I'm saying they got potential. He might could do something. So who knows? It might click at radio. I'm not a producer. I'm not a songwriter. You know, I just have ears. And they were not happy. <laughs> hey. I came to New York with very few contacts, but my music producer, Cito, put me in touch with this music manager, Maurice. And I just really hope he can help me make something happen. I really, really, really need this. Like, I mean, I just got here. I really, really need a song. Something needs to happen, and it needs to happen quick, because I got to pay rent back home. Okay. Yeah, I know you told me. If I don't make it, my parents don't make it, people are depending on me to make it. I think we just need to break down the plan. Because you know music is not gonna pay for you right now. So it's like I mean, that's music, a hot minute. That's just you know, a hot music minute from is now. something that I chose to do. Music don't freaking sell. And you yeah, know that. I know that. I am not discrediting you at all. All I'm saying is at the point in Jimmy's career where he is right now, he doesn't have time to reach back. I but that's that. no, hold on though. Bitch, you ain't even in the music business. You're a girlfriend. You ain't no record label executive. And I'm not gonna I let him nothing. bump his head and drag some girl what? along that bitch only should, should be rapping at Christmas I time. Can't, I can't. What the f are you talking about? I'm saying that your rapping skills were not on the level. Get out of here with it. You're whack. You're here because you know that you are winging this whole. How the f am I winging it? I'm in New York without. That means winging it, mother. That's winging it. So now they finish saying whatever they need to say to each other, but I'm not letting go of what I was told. So I tell Chrissy, yo, you need to come outside. I got to tell you something. Tell me. All right. Yeah. Whatever happened with you guys inside when you were talking, mm -hmm. Maurice came outside, and he starts dissing you. If you're a rapper to pay your bills, you're whack to me. If anything, I would advise her to date a guy that gets paid more than $10,000 a gig. Oh, the day he goes and Jim just takes care of her 
and um, nobody cares about him. Joel's is the hottest one in the group anyway. I said, listen, listen, why you ain't saying nothing in there when they was talking? I, oh, I didn't feel like I needed to say something. I wanted to just come bring it to her so that she could prepare herself. Prepare herself for what? She ain't gonna go in first there and do all, nothing. First of all, first of all, Liv, anything that he has to say about me, Jimmy, or Joel's is irrelevant. I didn't appreciate that because I he said that y'all was my family. Look at him. Look at the client what, he, that he's trying to. Willing to I mean, jump out the window. Like, no, wait a minute. No, maybe Liv. he's trying to defend her, but you don't defend cool. her like that. Mm -mm. That ain't the type of bitch you go to the you, you go to the line for. Like, mm -mm. Yeah. listen to me. I don't think I'm better, but I know my position. You understand me? So watch me do this. I, I called Jimmy. Like I felt like I had to let him know. I, I don't want to send Jimmy out kamikaze style, you know, and have him in trouble. And but it's like there's a consequence to being disrespectful. He can't think that it's easy to be reckless. You understand me? He was like, yo, Jim only make 10 stacks a show. Joel's is the only star in that <laughs> Like, he was Samaya's manager, yes. What he did was blew her ear up about us being trifling and we don't, no, no, I'm serious, baby, 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 I'm serious. This mother is going crazy. Well, any man should be able to check another man about being disrespectful to their girl. If you want to talk to women crazy, then there should be a man to deal with you, right? Don't you think? He's losing it. After the yacht catastrophe, because I felt bad about the Chrissy situation, I asked Rich and Olivia to come out so we could smooth things out. You were just like, you she tried to bring me did down. Did you have a beef with her, or just the fact that she was trying to come at you when she came in? And to me, it really comes down to like, it bothers me that when somebody doesn't know somebody's history, and it's not even that. This girl right here, not for nothing's been shot and stabbed. She's been through that I cannot even famine so any woman. So she's basically G-Unit. OK, let's go. <laughs> so at that point, because of what she's been through, it had to be real well, playboy. Uh, oh, it's James. How are you, sir? Bro, Let's bro, walk bro, 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 bro. Dude, Dude, I, yo. Don't move. Being that I'm from the hood, I was really nervous for Maurice. I got out of the hood because I didn't want to deal with this kind of And I've seen ugly in my life. It's just like a whole blackout that happened for me. Jim, go outside. Come outside. Come outside. Stop acting stupid, man. Jim, come on. Jim, go outside. Come Chrissy wanted to come have drinks with me, so I'm giving her the address, thinking we all gonna hang out and have drinks. I'm not thinking she's calling Jim to be like, yo, they gonna be at whoop de whoop. I need you to go over there and handle that. So when I see Jim, I know that it's about to be a wrap. Stop acting stupid, man. Come on, Jim. Don't act stupid, because you're going to make it worse. Motro, how you so? Come on. Jim, 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 Jim. Yo, look, dude, I'm not trying to be for that, man. I'm not trying to be. Yo, yo, dude. Nobody's going to do nothing to you. This way. Dude. Yo, dude, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Yo, dude, I wasn't trying to make this seriously. Yo, why don't I told you? Yo, what are you doing? I'm fair. Dude, I, you know, I have nothing but respect for you. You know me, dude. I ain't trying to be that dude. Dude, you. You're making it worse. Go to him. Come on. 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 Come here. Tell the camera what you just told me. Tell the camera that. Okay. Tell the don't, 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 don't touch him. Don't touch him. Tell, don't, don't, tell don't, the camera. Don't. Look, we said it. I said it. I even went up to his wife and I apologized to her afterwards. Off the camera. Off the camera. And Do you know me from somewhere? Dude, Jim. Do you know me from anywhere? Dude, from Do you know from, my from, wife from anywhere? Dude, I know you're from Nostic. I know you're from Nostic. Don't talk. Don't talk. You, don't talk. you yeah. think the comment you made? was conducive to you walking no. around this city in a, in a comfortable manner? No, not at all. And that's why I came to her and I apologize. apologize. Go Yo, ahead. Chrissy, I sincerely apologize. You know I did not mean that like that. Yo, look at the Yo. camera. You I'm dead serious. I'm de I did apologize well, to I'm her. I'm going to remember your face, cool. Thank you, sir. Anywhere else I'll catch from the snack. Jones. The streets are real. I have told Maurice this. You cannot talk crazy to people you don't know. No matter what streets you're from, every hood is the same. It's goons and somebody that's gonna defend their girl. 
it could have ended very, very crazy. I can't tell you that it's no more strenuous, no more legitimate, no more real than that. Rich Dallas is my manager. He's been in the industry for a whole bunch of years, and he knows the hip hop game is not a game. They're real rappers, they're fake rappers, they're gangster rappers. Jim falls between the gangster rapper and the real rapper. Not to be messed with. That's that mother brand, bro. And when you say shit, you putting yourself out there because you by yourself got to walk these streets every day. You got to walk around. That's your brand, bro. That's your brand versus his brand, and mother will see you about they shit. Well, I ain't seen nothing bad about Chris except that the fact that I stated, oh, y'all being trifling. And she goes, I'm being trifling. She took the word trifling like I called her a bitch, ho, whatever. You call Chrissy trifling, she's walking with that. So you can't just say something about somebody, basically his diamond, you know, who he's been with for six years, something about him also, and then them not feel away because they from the streets. Both of them are from the streets. They take life serious. Chrissy takes her relationship serious. That's her man. And this will be the death of you. Because them black bow ties and cream pies is coming to see you. Now who you got? to retaliate on that bull because he's mad that you talking yeah. about his girl and him. Hi, baby. How are you? Oh, so good to see you. You look great. Mashonda's a good friend of mine. She also used to be married to Swiss Beats, the producer who is now with Alicia Keys, and they have a baby on the way. Sometimes I say, well, maybe we should take a break and find out if this is something that we really want. Do you want to take a break? I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't want to give up on him. I don't want to give up on my family. You're not giving up. You have to let go of the things that don't feel right in your life. And that's the and thing. You saw me fight for my family and it got me nowhere. This is interesting. Yeah. I can see Jimmy win. And please. <laughs> I've always loved fashion, and I've been a stylist for about five years now. And today I'm going to be shopping for my client, Darrell Reeves of the New York Jets. Olivia's people? Yeah, Olivia people. <laughs> when you told me she was coming to the pool, the first thing in my mind was like, oh, yeah, the girl that Darrell used to date. That's for you, honey. That's not my type. I'm still dating Darrell. Well. Well, what? That's not what I heard. I do all his shopping, so I know that he hasn't dated Olivia in over a year. Wait a minute. Like, is they're not dating at all now? Why would she lie to us? That's a good look. Especially him. He's like number one cornerback or something like that. That'll be the wackest shit in the world. Who does that? Who lies about shit like that? My loyalty was to Darrell because I'm just meeting Olivia, and I don't really know her, and I've known Darrell for years. I got some goodies for you today. I just want to know, like, is she lying, or why is she lying, or what's up with that? <laughs> so what's been going on with you? You know, I actually had something to talk to you about. About what? I was nervous as hell, because I don't have those type of conversations with Darrell about his dating life. The other day, I was at the pool, mm -hmm. and I met Olivia. Their name came up. Yeah. She was basically saying, like, she was your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So. Nah, we. We cool, but it ain't, we haven't, we, we broke up during the season last year, so, I mean, I don't know where she getting all this uh, boyfriend, girlfriend stuff at. You know, we talk from now and then. I still don't know. I don't want to, I believe that she wouldn't lie to me about a guy. Like, I don't, I don't even want to go down that road. Right. Because who needs to do Stupid. that? She's a beautiful girl. She can date whoever she wants. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to take that into consideration and hold it over her, and I moved on from it. Was it a situation that I loved? No. Did I think enough of it to dig? No. But I don't want to be lied to. Emily? At the end of the day, that's between them. Right. You know. But she kind of took it back to you and oh, Fab. Yeah, she and flipped it around and, and, and put the. And it was never supposed to be about yeah. that. 
And that's what, what bothered me because I would never want to put her in that situation. If I had an issue because I had a friendship with Fab, mm -hmm. I would have still came to Emily first. I would have never went behind her back and been like, yo, Fab, let me, you know you what I'm saying? You feel like she went behind your back by going to the Because route. we were trying to build a relationship. Right. So if we're trying to build a friendship, I would have sat down and just talked to her. I guess we're not, our, our, our stories aren't much different now. It's very different. Okay. It's very different. You wanted to compare. It's very You're different. the one that wanted to compare. So. I've never claimed you on anything. Really? Yes, really. Really? Since, really? really? I've never seen you out with him. I've never seen you out with Darrell. You weren't with, you weren't I've his stylist. I've never seen you ever You weren't with his Darrell. stylist when I was with him. You wasn't even his stylist then. Really? Really. 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 I saw you, I, I, what you had, like one picture on the internet with No, boo-boo, no. Please. No. You can't compare, first of all. And you've seen it, was funny. First of all, but you, no, can't, you can't no. compare my situation. No. With him, I wouldn't to your compare situation your situation with, with, you with us tried, anyway. But you tried to play me. I know I didn't. When you was I in the didn't same try. Boat. You I was didn't in the same try boat. at all. You was, it's, I was the definitely not in the same boat. Your man because I definitely came on the show and said that. Kid, he wasn't I your man. Not have, how about your man didn't even come on the show? How about your man didn't even come and on the show? You ain't gonna, how about your man didn't even come you ain't on the show? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Because you don't even have him on the show saying that. He won't even come to a photo shoot, a family photo shoot, with his girl and his kid. Out of here. Why does she look upset? She looks upset already. We're going to meet Samaya for happy hour today. Every time I've been around her, it's been a scream and yelling match. Oh, gosh. No smile? Can you get a smile? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I never know what's going on. Oh, hello. Sorry, how are you? Uh, I'm hoping that Christy and Samaya don't get into it and then they squash whatever problems they have because it's really childish. Are y'all two okay? I feel really bad for what happened because I'm gonna tell you something, Christy. I don't like when any man goes in on a woman. It's not fair. Well, you know what? Let's leave that in the past, Samaya. No bull Let's let it go. I don't have a problem with you. I don't want a problem with you. Life is short and yeah. Now, my only issue is with you. With what? And I'm gonna tell you why. You're a snitch. You hyped her up and started saying. How did I go and hype her up, sweetheart? No, no, no. Your, your manager did not talk no, no. over that. No, I'm trying to defend my girl and I'm gonna listen, defend her. Okay. You're not listening. Snitch. You're not listening, no, mama. Was she was coming to have a it's drink with me. Like and that's like why you're all that's sideways. Me. Well, that's what you get for listening to somebody else, baby girl. No, no, no. Don't roll your eyes at me because every time I see you. This is exactly, because this is that's what I'm saying. Every time I see you, Olivia, you are always rolling your eyes and you're doing it right now. Who is rolling your eyes? Oh, my bad, my bad. Come on. <laughs> I was trying not to be in my G-Unit days because I wanted to punch the bitch in her face. And that's why I walked away, because when I get upset like that, I have a problem with my hands. Well, what's up? Bottom line is, we need to go back to square one. You're probably one of the top three or four most talented girls out here. But to the world, you're the girl that was with 50, basically. Was with 50, and everything is on a silver platter for you. And that's not what it was. Nobody even knows you can sing. I recorded an album on G-Unit, but because we were overseas touring for three years, there was no way that I could promote the album in the U.S., so it never came out. And this will be our third situation. She did the J Records deal, she did the G-Unit deal, so it's time for her to show people what she's all about. I'm getting emotional right now. Like, it's a f***ed up feeling, because it's something that you fight for. As a little kid, my mom used to always have me sing for everybody. Like, she knew that that's what I was gonna do. And I always feel like you have to keep fighting for this shit. I just wanna give up sometimes. I don't feel like people believe in me. You're, you're a young woman and you're fighting for your dream. And at the end of the day. But why do I always have to fight for it? There's bitches out there who can't sing. A lot of them. Why is it so easy for them to get a deal? Don't come easy. It's not gonna come easy. Hi, Vlad. Uh, my boy DJ Vlad came down to shoot the behind the scenes of the video. And DJ Vlad, everybody knows, has the most controversial hip hop blog website. I'm mean, hearing some rumors, There's something going on between you and Olivia. You know, this is Vlad TV. You know how we <laughs> get down. Tell me about that. This one thing you can say about me is I am honest. So I told him what it was. She put my life in danger, and when I confronted her about it, she punked out. After I sized you up, you just ran away like a little bitch. You are manipulative, you're bad energy, a lot of high-end executives that I know, top, top places that you will never be because of that attitude. 
have nothing to say about you that's good. I didn't know she was gonna snap like that about Olivia. I didn't know that. But now, you put me in the middle because now I, you're on the internet saying all these things. It's like, oh, you were there, Em? Uh, yeah. I have to explain. The sad part about it is that she should be happy that I'm talking about her because I'm making you relevant again, Olivia. She was wrong. Don't go on the internet starting no beef. Like, I'm about to make you relevant, chica. Like, you don't do that. That was whack. I just said it what it was. That's what it is. Yeah. A black TV exclusive. Peace. Yeah. Our thing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Hi, Rich. Sir, Rich Dallas, how are you, sir? Yo, dog, what's, what's this, bro? So Rich storms through the door, and the first thing I thought of, the Vlad interview. Because Olivia would send her daddy to come find her preschool fights, because she can't fight. Yo, dog, what's what's this, bro? What's this YouTube What, what YouTube doing? thing? The shit that y'all doing on Vlad TV. About your client? Yeah, about my client. I would heard Maurice and somebody were in the studio working on some bull mixtape that nobody's gonna hear anyway, so I felt like I needed to go by and address the situation. She jeopardized my life. She deserved. She jeopardized your everything. life? Everything, yes, she did. How she jeopardized your life? Because she gave out an address to where Jim showed up and almost got us all murked. Yo, let me tell you something. Do you understand what let I'm me saying? Tell something. And it's the truth all that she around talking greasy Let me tell you something. Nobody's about me. talking greasy. Yes, she let me, is. Let's be clear. Why are you yelling greasy? at me? Because you with my money. Will you you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna step up and, and, and slander my artists on the internet when at the end of the day you have nothing going on. You think I don't know what the f goes on around here? Right, this is between me and Olivia. Wow, this is not between you. Will you start talking about my f Friend, I was putting my arm on Rich, pulling him back, and I'm grabbing with the other arm and saying, Samaya, back up, let it go. I hate the hip hop ghetto antics. It's not conducive to my well-being and my health. Don't let it get I, up out here, boy. Dude, I came here today with all intentions of being politi politically correct to your trifling and whack you ass. Are you still doing it? You're still doing it. Okay? Yeah. I came here with all intentions of being that guy. You, you, I came yeah, here with all intentions no, 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 no. of being that dude. Wait, listen, I understand you know that. What's going on she got to go with it. Come on, Yo, man. Yo, at the end of quick. the day, you have to have something valid. I don't know what you've done in your past, but you can't go on the internet and, and, and go undermine or undermine somebody's career when this girl's been signed to J Records. You're on the internet as an unsigned artist talking about executives and who you can sit with when she was signed by Clive Davis. I was nice. sitting in She was signed by the Mogul Deep Biggest. She was signed by G Unit 50 Cent in though. 2005 when they were the hottest rap group in the history of music. But I was like, also you sitting having... with people too, but remember, remember when you were in the I'm world. making you relevant, you Olivia. Remember? <laughs> I'm making you relevant again, mommy. You should the be happy, mommy. Why, the no. reason why, the reason why, you know what? You can keep saying whatever you want, Rich, but it doesn't matter. You still a vagina. Yeah. You got in on me. You still there. Listen, when you went in there, you went in there crazy. Walk <laughs>
think I kind of need my support system in the front. Me? Yes. <laughs> is she? Is there engagement going on? Is there a oh, engagement going on? Okay. Jim is Nancy's man, basically. You know what I'm saying? Nancy doesn't want anybody else taking that position. And if Chrissy goes into that slot where I know they're going, Nancy's finna be upset. <laughs> I would like to start by saying thank you for coming out. It's good to see you guys. You all know me very well. We all know that I've tried several different ventures in my life. I tried the real estate, interior design, personal styling. Never quite fit. It's taken me a long time to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with my life. Have I figured it out? I want to spend it with you. My little hands were shaking. And then as the words started to flow out, it's like I tuned out. Like I just let what I came for take over. I don't know what's going on in Nancy's head, but that woman is really tight right now. Mom, mom, no, no. mom, mom, please, no, please. no, mom, no. please. Everybody, leave me right, right mom, now, right mom, now. Mom, leave me mom, right now. Please, just yeah, one minute. Mom. Let me go one minute. No, no, I don't need no surprise. My son, yes, I can understand him getting a surprise. I could have been more coming up towards the front just to get my son's expression and camera and had everything ready. I don't know what's going on. All I know is, oh. No, I, I just can't believe I'm just excluded out. They're not waiting for the guys anymore. They know, they know we'll take forever, so they're taking matters into their own hands. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought long and hard. Yeah, long and hard. Yes. I can't see myself with anybody else. I'm with you. But he didn't quite say yes. He was like, I'm with you. What the is I'm with you? What does that mean? I was outside because I felt disappointed. Everybody know when you're gonna engage somebody, either you're gonna tell the parents first or afterwards. Chrissy didn't do that. Those right. motherfuckers. Right. Am I piece of something? I have to be uh, known along with everybody else. Who's who the hell is everybody else? I, I'm his mother. M O T H E R. His mother. I don't like nobody pulling no over. And she, I will break your. Mom, mom, tell him, tell him, get away from me. Mom, tell him I said, mom, I said, tell him, get mom, away from me, fool. Chrissy made me look like, Psh, bitch, you just a bitch. And if she feel like that, yes, I'll be that bitch, mother, mother-in-law. Sorry. I said, stop filming me. Stop filming me. The night of the proposal, I was so focused on Jimmy that I didn't even notice his mother stormed out. My moment was beautiful up until people started to come over to me and tell me she stormed out. I need to know why you stormed out like that. I felt that we should have said, Ma, you know, me and you sat down and speak first in the whole nine yards and let me be in the surprise because that is my child, you know what I'm saying? Him and his mother are very tight and I just didn't feel like I could trust the fact that she would keep that secret. It's not about Chrissy. It's about my son. He came out my pum pum. And if you can't come to me first because you feel that I might leak out the secret, nah. You thought I might go tell him? I would never do nothing like that. That I is that's take, something. But I didn't want to take that chance because I only wanted to do this one time in my life. And I thought that I had the right to do it the way I wanted to. You're wrong, bitch. Let me control something in my relationship for once. Hold up. 
Cushy, that was that's not a way for you to put to treat somebody, somebody's mother. I'm not marrying you. I don't understand why Nancy thinks that by me proposing may cause her to lose her son. We have two different lanes. You know, there's fiance lane and there's mommy lane, and neither one of them should get crossed up. Can we talk about you and I? There's no you and I. One time we did have a you and I, you know, but. So you what know, are we doing going forward then? I, I just, that's, <laughs> it ain't on me no more, it's on you. Sorry. What? It ain't on me no more. I've done what I can do with even trying in the whole nine yards. I'm done. By her doing what she did when she came to my house, there's no real way getting by it. You are a selfish bitch. That's how I feel. Oh, and what are you? I, I'm not selfish. You're a psychotic I'm, I'm bitch. How about that? No. I, I'll take that. I'd rather be a psychotic bitch than be a selfish bitch. What, uh, okay? Selfish? At least I'm not. Where's my selfish? grandchild? Why haven't you given my grandchild yet? Why, why? That ain't Chrissy, selfish. Chrissy. I don't know what is. Well, how much longer you. Who knows? Your time is ticking. So? Oh, sh. I'm you know what? Bad oh, to this say having a baby oh, to you give know you what? a grandchild. I see, I see now exactly how it comes. You, you, you feel, feel that you want to go ahead and have my son oh, and he gets and nothing out of the deal? Oh, come on, that. Are you kidding me? The last place I want to put my child is in her care. Where's my grandchild? So you just gonna have my son? Okay, what, what is he supposed to get out of it? Damn it, give him a baby. What the is that about? Bitch, you turned 40. I want to her up. But I know that that's unacceptable because that's his mother. And I never want to disrespect him like that. But this woman is just... <laughs> She's pushing buttons that I didn't even know I had. I refuse to be in this relationship and give my heart and my soul and not ask for what I want. That right there, he just told the world how much he loves you. Stop telling me. Show me. Grow up. That, that's Let's a part right of showing thing. you. Do you want Fab to do that? I, I felt like he's written a, a bunch of songs for me. But to actually say your name, okay. that was beautiful. You know, something that I, I, I don't have. Emily wants that. She does not have what Jimmy and Chrissy have. And I feel bothered for her because if you're with somebody that long, everybody should know that y'all are together. Maybe he doesn't love me. Because they say when you love somebody, you tell the world. Wow. What's next? Like, I realize that I got to love myself mm -hmm. first. That's what we always said. Right. And I'm not happy. So. I mean, I'm willing to let it go. If it ain't, if it ain't right, I'm willing. But only to let you it go. will know Oof. when it is. I don't know. I love him, and I just I don't know what's gonna happen. I was really proud of her. I couldn't believe that she said that, and she was like, she got some things to think about, and because she never has agreed to that before. When Chrissy and I have said that, so I commend her. I toast, ladies, to love and friendship, love and happiness, yeah. to love and hip hop. What's up, y'all? Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, make sure you subscribe to the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel.